Hey there friends and enemies, Jopu here again and today I want to go over what I think is the most important information we learned from Bungie's livestream about episode Echoes Act 2 for Destiny 2. And honestly one of the more interesting things is not even pertaining to the current episode, instead it is about episode Revenant where the story information will be dropped all at once for each act. So, if you are unfamiliar, each episode has three acts, and for episode Echoes, the story content is released over a few weeks. Whereas once we get to Revenant, they are gonna try to drop all the story content for each act, which is roughly about every five weeks or so. So you should have several story missions and several pieces of content to tackle as soon as the new act does drop. So I think that's going to be very interesting. If I'm being completely honest, I do feel like players will complain that there's nothing to do, just like now they don't like the drip feed content, but I think it's a lose-lose. They have a certain amount of content they're able to produce. I'm unsurprised that episode Echoes has been a little underwhelming after Into the Light and The Final Shape had a ton of content. There's only so much they can produce at any given time. I'm hopeful that Act 2 and Act 3 are a little bit hardier. And then the next episode is a little juicier as well. And I really believe that will be the case, especially considering we are going back to the Dreadnought. So I'm very curious to think or to hear from you guys and what you guys think is the better way to share the story, is it all at once when an act does drop or is it better off with the weekly items to look forward to? I'm very curious what the consensus is, but I don't think there will be one. I, pro I believe we'll more likely see half of the people complaining, half of the people exciting. For me personally, it doesn't matter. I either will play it all at once or I will jump in whenever... There's new stuff. It doesn't matter. I'm pretty freely available to do that. Now, another thing that we learned from the live stream, we are getting three new battlegrounds. And this is another divisive topic that I always find very interesting. Essentially, I've always found battlegrounds to be strikes, right? A lot of people will say, oh, they're not as good as strikes. They're too long. They're too short. They're not really the same cadence. Whereas these battlegrounds supposedly are going to be tailored after strikes in new locations on next nessus which i find to be a good option but i do wonder if it is something that is going to ultimately make a difference because we'll see if they add these battlegrounds to the strike playlist as we've seen in the past i do think it is a way for them to add new content in a current episode a current act while also planning for the future as they are rotating the strikes that are available they can add it to the vanguard playlist and they can also introduce it as a gm down the line if it is successful so i do think that is a way to repurpose content in a way that makes a ton of sense although again as always i think there will be people who are not too thrilled about that we're also getting new artifact perks with the new act as well and i think that's going to be a very large game changer Leaning into sniper rifles, there's a bunch of sniper-specific artifact perks really leaning into solar snipers as well. So the two that were highlighted and I think will be absolutely insane, one already is and one will be hugely used in the future. That's still Hunt, which I wouldn't be surprised if it gets a nerf and still is absolutely broken based upon the fact that we are getting those artifact mods. And then also... There is the Whisper of the Worm, Whisper of the Worm, which is now craftable and is absolutely banana. So I do think those are going to really shake up how we handle DPS, especially if you consider the raid and you use those artifact mods in the raid. It looks like it's going to be absolutely insane. And so I do think it will make life a lot easier. I would also be curious to see if we see the Whisper being a viable option within the grandmaster excision now that that is going to be wildly overpowered if it is as strong as it looks from what we've seen from the artifact mods now a couple other things to note 
there are some buffs and nerfs planned. Does look like Hunter is getting some nerfs for PvP specifically. We are getting some buffs to the Prismatic Titan, which I think is still very strong. I don't think it's underwhelming necessarily. It's just in comparison with Prismatic Warlock and Prismatic Hunter. It doesn't have the same wildly strong kit that those have and they did mention specifically buffing the super twilight arsenal as well as hammers and i don't know if that's enough i do feel like generally the overall kit is the problem with prismatic titan not necessarily the super however with a lot of the exotic class items really leaning into buffing super power essentially with the star eater one specifically i do feel like that could make them very very good and could be a huge benefit if they are strong enough but we'll have to wait and see some other things to really look forward to i am most excited about the brand new rocket sidearm that is solar it can get incandescent and heel clip which sounds bananas there's also a new arc pulse rifle which i think will be solid but i think we have enough of those the solar rocket sidearm is something that is brand new we also know we've, we're getting the new story content we're getting the battlegrounds we're also going to be getting probably an exotic maybe not in this act but in the next one so a lot to look forward to if you are a destiny player but i do feel like during the summer right now with the act two it'll be a little bit of a benefit and then we will have a bit of a lull in destiny content and i think honestly that's a good thing because we have gone so hard with into the light and the final shape into act one that it is time to take a step back play some other games if you are a PvE player, the first Descendant and once human just dropped, then we also have Concord and some PvP games coming out in the near future as well. So I do think all of that lends itself for a bit of a Destiny break. If you are feeling that burnout, which tends to often happen, and for me personally, it's been nice to play a bunch of variety and I'm looking forward to that anyway. So I'm really excited about the future, not only of Destiny 2, because it does seem like they are in it for the long haul. They have a lot of content planned, but also other games that I can cover on the channel. Like I said, I'm diving deep into the first Descendant right now and it's been an absolute blast. And so I'm really looking forward to what's next. So yeah, ultimately, let me know what you guys think. What did you think of the live stream itself? What are you most excited about going forward with the game? Does any of this change your opinion? Pro, con, any of that kind of stuff? Are you going to be playing more or less in the near future? Let me know in the comments down below. My name is Jopa. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Have a good one. I'll catch you all later.